quick little break here. So today's sponsors are... Welcome to AfterglowCases.com. Take your selfie to the next level. Click the link in the description right now to go shop and follow. Hey guys, welcome to Keeping Up With Cash for YouTube channel. So we're in a series of the naturalization of becoming a U.S. citizen. So I just finished the morning routine of your interview. You can go back and watch it. Please like, share, and subscribe and go support my brands. That's in the link description below. Um, turn on your notification bell as well and go back and watch all the videos from part one to part seven of quiz answers and question. Okay, so this is a continuation of where I left off last time. So after you pass your civics writing test and everything is good, you'll be taken into the other side of the building or the next room where you'll be awaited with other um, applicants, right? That came to do their stuff. So, um, everyone will be waiting for the oath to be taking place. You will see, um, some envelopes on each chair and those envelopes will have your certificate of citizenship. Okay. Um, in that envelope, you'll get booklets, pamphlets, um, and a flag in that big white envelope with the blue writing on it. That's your, so each person will know where to sit, okay? All right, so after everyone is there and completed, then you will need to, um, stand up they're gonna do the oath and once you've done that they're gonna give you a paper to fill out with around I'd say maybe around seven questions on that paper you should click everything as no right because nothing will be changed since you've done the interview to walk into the next room that's impossible right so click no on all those seven questions and then you will put the name and location of where you did your your interview um, after everyone fills that out um, you will give it back to the and sign it and date it you give it back to the old specialist and then he'll go over a few stuff with you guys um, one is everyone will get a sheet with four, it's basically six, no, not six, um, seven stuff to do right after you become a citizen. Um, but the, the first four is the most important one. Um, your social security information, you need to go and up that, updated that right away. Um, I waited seven days to do mine so everything was synced into the system because I know it's pandemic still going on in some places and people not moving slow not fast at their work place anymore so I gave it seven days and most people give, give it seven days as well so everything can be synced and processed into the system in a week um, so yes I went and find the nearest social security office in my town and all this time I was driving past and I didn't know that road that road that I passed to go to the post office on my business after glow cases to drop off products that that road took me down to the social security office I was so crazy so it was close to home probably about two point something miles um, got that done and after I got that done um, I went into the office. I told the guard what I was there for. Um, he told me to just go check in. And I went to window one. And the guy was like, oh, you're here for that? Oh, man, that's easy. I was like, okay, cool. Um, 
then he told me to wait for my number to be called. Um, he asked me my social. I told him my social. He put my stuff up and pull it up. And after all that was done, um, I waited for around, I don't want to lie, I would say, I waited for a little minute because I went, the place opened at nine, but I was trying to get a haircut and my barber was out of town because it's Mother's Day. So um, after I finished spoken with him, I left and got some coffee, some espresso, uh, drove over there, then, yeah, so it was around 9.30, so I waited 9.30 till about, um, I would say, I would say at least 30 minutes, because it was starting to get crowded in there, because even the line was there, so a lot of people was coming in, old and young people was coming in. So when my name was called, the same guy that checked me in, he's Muslim, um, he asked me if anything has changed, um, asked for my ID and my certificate of naturalization of being a citizen. Um, he updated the system, print out some papers, tell me to look over and make sure everything is right for my mom's name, where I was born, stuff like that. Just making sure everything is correct. And after that, then he put some more stuff in the computer, printed out this paper, gave it to me. Um, yep, and that was it. It was like three minutes, really, or maybe five minutes at the most. Or maybe the time was moving so fast that that three minute looked like that five minute looked like three. But it was no hassle. It was so simple and easy. Um, so my whole, my security, my social security number card, new one will come in a few days. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. And he told me that paper that he gave me, I can just go ahead and update my driver's license right after that. But because it was a Monday, um, the DMV here don't open on Mondays and that really sucks because that's the day I'm off and I could just do a lot of stuff when I'm off on that day and even the fun fact the day I had my interview it was a Monday so I was already off so I, I didn't have to take off from work so it was, that was just so cool to me that God worked in my favor where I don't lose out on any money and I came back early because um, Georgia is on is like an hour ahead of Alabama, so I came back around one something o'clock, and I come back, came back home, went to meal prep and chill out for the rest of the day. So I get to have like six, seven hours home, just chill out after a long drive and successful day. Um, yeah, so that was it for my day. After I finished doing my stuff at the social security office, I went to Walmart, um, got groceries, came home, did laundry, um, make all these videos. I made, what, seven, eight videos that day, um, and meal prep, and at this point, I'm thinking about if I should go wash my car because we had some rain on Friday, and there's some, like, rain spots with dust on the back of my car. And I hate the dirty car. So it's 4.57 right now. I'm thinking, should I get the car washed? Because I don't wash my car all the time. Um, so I'm, it's still bright outside. I'm just not sure if I should go, not really waste time outside when it's almost time to keep my feet up and chill and just go promote my brand, really. And should I go wash the car or just take a shower, eat, make my plates for the week, and just call it a day. I'm still up in the hair about that right now. So stay tuned for the next videos. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll be going to the DMV Wednesday morning before work. So I'll just 
the DMV opens at 8 30 I think or 8 o'clock so my job started at 9 I have a key for my for my job so I'm basically the guy at my job so I may just call the head manager and tell him hey you need to come in early because I'm gonna have something to do and then I'll just meet up at work and do that for the next so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet no, I'm definitely for sure going to um, go Wednesday morning to update my driver's license and stuff and get a new one with the citizenship stuff on it and the star. Um, yep, so basically that's it. After that, I'll be registering to vote and what else? Oh, yeah, apply for my passport. So those are the four main, main, main ones you need to do ASAP. So... Thank you for watching and that's what's in for the day that's what you need to do after you become a citizen of the united states so thank you for stopping by and we have a lot more videos coming and stay tuned appreciate the support